All right, so we're on the loading screen now. Um, have um, in the future time to learn that is is to actually learn that and be able to do that. Let's see, get the sound loaded. Okay, so we're gonna go to build, and we are going to look for what is this here? Uh, New York. What is okay? What is up with this? What is this? Okay, all right. New New York, New Haven. New York, New Haven. All right, so it's New York, New Haven. We're gonna edit the route. This is the first step to setting up a quick. Okay. A uh, free any scenario actually is to find the root and et open the edit feature. Yeah. So we're gonna. This is gonna load. Well, all right. I'll probably be too lazy to cut this stuff out uh, when I edit the clips together. So just you know, whatever. It's not a big deal. I can't whistle for my life. <sighs> I've heard mixed reviews about the turbo, the, the, the gas turbo locomotive. I haven't driven it yet, but I've heard some people say it, it works great, other people are Complaining about the physics. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to touch it at all. It's not really my ex uh, area of expertise. So uh, I know some of you have been asking me whether or not I'll look into that. All right. We're loaded. Um, first thing you want to do once you load into the route is you'll notice that we're not actually in the scenario editor. We're in the world editor. So you got to go to the scenario editor. Click yes when it asks you to, and it'll go back to the loading screen because it's got to switch modes for whatever reason. All right, good. We're in the scenario editor now, so. First things first, you want to make sure this icon here, this lock is unlocked. Because if it's locked, then you can't make any changes to it. If it is locked, just click on it. Um, a warning will come up asking you if you want to make edits, uh, blah, blah, blah. Just click yes, it'll unlock, then you can make edits. So first things first, we want to pin down the start time for the scenario. I'm looking at my phone now. 1707 departs New Canaan at 5.33, so we're going to set the scenario start time to 5.30. And we're going to leave the season in the summer. I'm going to change the date. Do I want to change the date? Yeah, I'll change the date. July 16th, 20. 15. Is July 16th? Was July 16th even a weekday this year? Let me check. Before I make myself look like an idiot. Calendar. July 20. Oh, good. July 16th, 2015 was a Thursday. So we'll leave it there. Uh, the only reason that we're doing this now is because as soon as you. Um, as soon as you move the camera, start like going places, or you uh, select things like consists and stuff, it won't let you. It won't. It won't let you go back to that. It won't let you change the times or the dates anymore. I mean, I, I think there's a way that you could uh, go back to that, but I I just haven't found out how to do it. Uh, why don't we, okay, so, why don't we get to,
get to Stamford first. Stamford. Go. All right, also I want to check the 2D map. Check the 2D map so that we're not dealing with anything, any trains, random trains that might be in the way. All right, that's on this track. Don't have to worry about that. There are, ooh. Do I want to leave this here? Uh, I'll come back to that later. Come back to that later. All right. All right, there's a train at Fordham. There's a, ooh. There's an ex, why the, okay, that's going to have to go. That's in the way. I think, oh, I know why there's trains here. All right, so these trains were here because I was running, this was back when, I haven't touched this route in forever. So I was running the, the M7, quote unquote, the M7 consist up a local, on a local train up to, up to, up to Mount Vernon. Um, and I had some, since it was all free roam, I didn't put any AIs in there. So I had some static trains just sitting around just to make the route look sort of populated. I'll have to delete some of that stuff before I go into into this run because then shit's gonna get in the way. I'm gonna crash. I'm not gonna be happy. All right, so. All right, there's a train here. Hmm. I think that's an FL9, actually. I'll have to delete. Do I have to delete that? All right, let me see. So this is the New Canaan branch. This comes down. Is there a crossover onto the main line, or do I have to? Oh, good. There's a crossover onto the main line. So we're going to set that junction here. And that'll follow this. Because there's a train there. have this oh good this junction is already set and then we want I think it's okay the train goes 1707 makes all local stops between New Canaan and Rye and then after Rye it expresses to 125th Street okay so I gotta find Rye is this Rye that's cause Cobb Where is Rye? That's Greenwich. Port Chester. Rye. Alright, so Rye, and then we want to go from the local track to the express track. Uh, the switches up here, I think, were set for for the football train, which I ran a long time ago. But I need the, okay, I need express. So it goes express all the way to check the switches here. Switches straight. Good. 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 Express to 125th Street, so now we're here. We usually don't come down this way. Okay, hold on. So I'm going to leave it on track 1, actually, and have it come down the other way. have it cross this way all right this is where I'm gonna have to 
delete this consist here. Hopefully I remember to do that. I can leave that consist. When's the next? I think the next interlocking is Melrose. Melrose. Switches are good. Switches are good. Switches are good. And then you got Morris interlocking. I think it's Morris. Or something. I don't know. Good, good, good. I want to stop on the X this track. Okay, if I want to stop on this track, I have to delete this consist. I might want to move this consist to that side. All right, so okay, we're staying on the center track. Switches are good. Good, good, good. All right, we're clear all the way into Grand Central. This is where we need to look at stuff here. That's got to be straight. Crap, I already lost track of where I'm going. Alright, so we're on this run, track one. We're still on track one. Track one, switch. Follow the switch. Switch. Okay. Now we're on main four. Main four. Ooh, too fast. Five lead. And then we want, I want to terminate this train on track 24. Oh good, alright, terminate on track 24. Okay, good. Put this train on track 24. Alright, so switches are all set all the way to Grand Central. Check up here. Springdale. It's all single track stuff. <clears throat> Talmadge Hill. It's cute. There's a little train here. Six car train. Alright, so siding is good. Alright, see, now that's a problem. That's a problem because... Now, I sort of want to actually start the scenario in the yard track and switch the train into the station. So we're going to have to readjust the start time. And this is where I have no idea how to bring up that menu to change the time. Whatever. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna just go up to New Canaan and put that train there first, and then I will exit the scenario editor and re-enter the editor so I can change the, the start time again. Uh, this is the annoying part because I actually have to manually do this take myself all the way. Okay, all right. Good. Okay, good. Um, yeah. All right. Oh, I hate this thing. It's in the way. Can't see what I'm doing. All right, good. Now, I want to add in an M8. Two cars. Eight cars. Um, Okay, seriously, why can't I fit an A-car train? 
Okay, all right, I'm going to look at this. <sighs> that siding should be able to fit eight cars. I should be able to fit the consist clear before that signal there. Wonderful, it's bugging on me now. Hold on. Come on, don't be difficult. It's being difficult. Okay. really annoying yeah sometimes uh, you experience glitches like this when you're trying to develop and it's a real pain but you learn to work with it I think all right good now it wants to show up room do I actually have in front of this bumper? Alright, so it's about about five feet and then how f am I how far in front of the signal am I? Whoops. Uh, too far. Eh. Eh. Alright, that'll have to do. I'm gonna turn the consist so the Pair with the engineer is actually in the front. Good. Engineer guy is in the front. Now, um, in order to make your consist drivable, you have to select this icon and click the car of the consist that you want to make drivable. Now, what this is going to do, allow you to do is when I hit the play to actually select this as a drivable consist, you'll notice that I won't be able to select this consist as a drivable consist because it doesn't have this driver thing on it. So, yeah, I'm gonna. All right, let me double check. The switch is right here again. So, all right. See, there's space here. I should be able to push this farther. It's really annoying. Let me see if I can actually move this. How much closer I can move this? Ah. Uh. Oh, crap. Ah. Uh. And I also really hate the root builder thing because for some reason it makes this very laggy, very laggy. Alright, now that I've inched this back as far as I can, to make sure that this is still one solid consist, it is. This is still one solid consist. And do I have. Um, uh, people messaging me. I'm going to ignore that for now because I'm busy. I'm trying to remember if these are actually oriented correctly. Uh, I don't think it is actually. I think I've actually... Okay, alright. There's a problem here because if you notice, the panograph car is leading towards Grand Central. If for the people who actually live in this area, you'll know that 
the Panagraph car actually trails while going into Grand Central. So I actually have created, um, ay, ay, ay. I've created custom consists uh, in Consist Builder, where the B car actually leads. Um, so now I'm gonna have to ah, oh, I'm gonna have to do that all over again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for my incompetence. I'm tired. Okay. Let's see if I can put this. Okay, really annoying. Uh... So we want, okay, so we want the trailers. Okay, so we want this to be turned around. Okay, good. And then I should probably turn this around just to keep it prototypical. Uh, oh, crap, I put it on the wrong track. I hate myself right now. What is wrong with me today? I'm going to get rid of this, actually. This is causing this to lag too much. It's also obstructing my field of vision. There we go. Let's try that again. Consist is drivable, it is oriented correctly. Uh, I think it's as close to the bumper as I can get it. Yeah, it's probably about as close to the bumper as I can get it. Mm. Okay. Okay. Double checking. Switches again. Switches are good. Now we have to go... I think we have to go back to... There's a consist I needed to delete. There's two consists I needed to delete. So we need to go to Harlem 125th Street. Load. Ooh, all right. That. I think I'll put. Mm, actually, that's the wrong train. Uh, third rail. Alright, good. I think we'll put this train right here. Here. Turn her around. I think that does it. Oh, we know. Uh, we have to go to Botanical Gardens. Botanical. Alright, it doesn't actually let me go to Botanical Gardens. So I'm gonna go to Fordham and go from there. Alright, there it is. Here you are. Still want to train on this curve though, so we're going to just move that consist and put it here. There we go. That's a static consist. I also neglected to see if this train actually passes anything. It does not. 1707 does not pass anything. So I shouldn't. Alright, good. 
So technically, there shouldn't be a train at Fordham. Let's go back to Fordham and delete that. Or, you know what? Actually, what? We'll leave it. We'll leave it. We'll leave it because. Because why not? Why not leave it, huh? In fact, I'm gonna put a train here. Just for lols. Put a six car train. right here because I can oops this was actually all right yeah leave it this way uh, I think we're good I still have to change the time anyway so yes we'll make the saves save changes Yeah, I don't know why this takes such a long time to load. Um, so okay, so we're gonna go right back into the world editor, and from there back into the scenario editor, and I'm gonna change the start time from from I guess 5:30 to 5:15. I think that's reasonable. 5:15, so we can get into the the actual train switch it onto the platform do all the relevant tests like the brake tests horn test whatever all right so now we got to time has changed time is time has changed um we have to go where are we going we're going to Stamford, Stamford, go. All right, it's loading. Ooh, underground. I'm underground. I am not underground anymore. All right, don't want that train to be drivable. I actually want to replace this. Delete. Delete. All right. Metro North Pantograph six cars. All right, that's good. Now we got to go back to New Canaan. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm using the arrow keys on my keyboard to navigate and the way I'm turning the camera and changing the direction is I'm using my mouse, I'm right clicking and I'm just dragging, right? And if I want to go faster, just I just hold the shift key. So this is, I'm holding the shift key, I'm letting go of the shift key. Holding the shift key, letting go of the shift key. That's all I'm doing. Um, it makes for quick navigation and, and whatnot. So just double checking. Consist is sitting here quietly. All right, so um, I'm finished creating the scenario. Uh, all the switches are set. I'm set to run train 1707 from Stanford, not Stanford, uh, from New Canaan, making all local stops between New Canaan and Rye, and then. After Rye, we're switching onto the express track, and we are expressing all the way to 125th Street and then Grand Central. So, yeah. Uh, just double checking the switches here at Stanford. It's a bit messy ish. Yep. Alright, so this scenario is set up. All I have to do now is hit the play button and. We're a go. I'm gonna 
end this video and start a new video where I actually just operate the the train itself and you can watch that if you want but and I'll, I'll link I'll link I'll link the the cab ride video in the description so you can follow me from this video into that video but uh, yeah I'm gonna end this video here and post it separately from the cab ride uh, that's all uh, so until next time see ya